Welcome to Be Adventures. I'm Bryce. I'm Elise. And today we are going to take you on a tour of the Royal Caribbean app and how to set up reservations. Uh, something that we hadn't seen in other videos. But first, we just want to thank you guys for the positive feedback for the first video on the Symphony of the Seas. We're really excited about how it's doing. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to hand it over to Elise and let her chat her way through this uh, apologetically stand-up video. But it's a screen share, and uh, it's really informative. So check it out. Yeah, so I wanted to make this video because if you're anything like me, I love to plan. Uh, that's like half the fun of vacations for me is planning, seeing what the different activities are. And for these bigger cruise ships, it's super, super important to get a reservation, especially for the shows. Um, I mean, throughout our vacation, it did get sold out. So, and I had seen some pretty good app videos, but not any of them that actually showed us the reservations. But unfortunately, because since I already had made my uh, reservations, like as soon as we got on the ship, I can't go all the way through the process just because I've already had a reservation. But I am going to show you um, how to make dinner reservations, which is very similar to how you make a reservation in the show, and kind of show you what the confirmation page looks like afterwards. So let's go into the app. Start by clicking on the Royal Caribbean app, which is their logo right there. And we're going to start with the daily planner. This is super helpful because you can scroll through and see the different activities that are happening. At the bottom of your screen there, you can see the different days. And so I'm clicking on day two right now. And these are all the different activities that were on our cruise ship. And you can hit the filter up there in the top right-ish corner. And you can filter it to just seeing the activities, just seeing entertainment. And it was really helpful to have that filter. And so you can see kind of some examples about some of the things that were going on in our ship. You can see when different things are open, the flow rider, the, the slide, which is helpful when planning your activities. Yeah, and this app uh, was really useful. Actually, it it worked on the ship. We did not pay for an internet package, but Royal Caribbean allows you to essentially use the internet just for this app. So mm -hmm. we had their phone on airplane mode, and we turned the Wi-Fi on and went to the Royal Caribbean network. I don't remember yes. what it was called. Yes, the, it'll say Royal Caribbean Wi-Fi, and you need to connect to that in order to use this app. And I would say you do need to use it. You need it for reservations because as of right now they are not letting you do reservations before you get on the cruise ship and so i tried to connect to wi-fi and i did connect to it outside of the ship to see if i could make reservations while i was waiting to board the ship it didn't work we tried to beat the system it didn't work it literally did not let me make reservations until i stepped on board i think yeah we, we, we literally walked into the promenade and then we stood there and mm -hmm. you did the thing so yes was... i literally that was the very first thing i did I walked on board, connected to Wi-Fi, went into this app, and I'll show you how to make those reservations here in a second. Um, but that is how I, I did that. But make sure you do that as soon as you get on the cruise ship because it did sell out on our on our cruise. Yeah, you guys saw in the video, it's, it's a big boat, and there's almost 6,000 people or maximum of over six, and there's yeah. a lot of people. So get your reservations. We're going to show you how to do it coming up right now. And so with the daily planner, you can say you click on something you're interested in and say add to my calendar. And this is the my calendar. So I'm going to go to day six. And these are some of the things that we added to my calendar that we wanted to go to. And so you can scroll through that each day and see, okay, this is all the different places um, that I need to be at this time. And that was super helpful. And make sure you're checking it daily too, because sometimes the venues might change or, I mean, a lot of different things. <laughs> it could be canceled. You never know. So now I'm going to swipe right uh, to go to the next section. This is how I made my reservations. I went here and I clicked on entertainment and then went to shows and movies. This is, has all of the shows on our entire cruise ship on it. And so I would click into one of these. By the way, you do not need a reservation for the movies, just the shows. And so I'm going to click on, let's see, the flight dare to dream and so to make reservations I would click on there and then I would click down here and it would just say reserve and as you can see I already made the reservation so it's not gonna let me reserve it again but uh, it also shows you the different times below it so there might be two different things uh, showings a day and so with this one I just need to add to my calendar for the comedians I didn't need a reservation for this one 
because uh, I think that one was in the main um, theater. We did need it for the one in. Yes, that was a different yeah. reservation. So this is hairspray. Uh, again, I already had that reservation. This was me realizing, oh, I can't go all the way through because I already have the reservations. But uh, I will show in a second here how to make a reservation um, basically by scheduling uh, a dinner reservation, but it's the exact same process for this show. So, and you can see there it has the different times and things, and so when you go in to reserve, it will you'll pick which time you want to go to. But as you saw previously on that Ice Skate 2.0, that was sold out and that was only like available two days of our cruise. So if you want reservations, you gotta do it quickly. Okay, so now we're gonna click on the dining. And these are some of the different specialty dining uh, restaurants that you can choose from. So if you go in, I believe, uh, let's go to Izumi's. And you can look through, and this is their menus for that day. And so you can scroll through. This is their dinner menu. Kind of look through what different entrees they're going to have and all the yummy things there. And so you can use that for any of the restaurants. They also had it for, like, the main dining room, which was helpful. Just to kind of see the different things that were available. And now... I'm gonna go back in <laughs> and gonna hit reserve. And again, this is the exact same way that you reserve your shows. So you're gonna go in, hit reserve now, make reservation, there's both of us, and you're gonna hit next. And then it's going to give you what day do you wanna go. And so on the, the different shows, it'll show you the different days that they're actually doing the shows. And then on this page, it'll show you the two different times. You hit which time, you hit confirm, you're done, reservation's good. Um, but yes, make sure you watch which days the different shows are going because some of them only are happening two days or three days. So make sure you're checking that. Again, another example, you're hitting both of the guests, you're selecting which day you wanna go, and then making your reservation. All of these restaurants were out of reservations by the time I made this video. Again, make sure you make your reservations. Lots of people on the ship. We actually remembered to do this, just so you guys don't get too scared. We remembered to do this video the last day. It was it was day so, six out, out of our day seven. Yeah, so so maybe if you were day two or three, you could probably mm -hmm. still get some reservations for the end of your trip. But uh, for us, you know, when we thought of shot, shooting this video, we did it at the end. Yes, this is another example of just another menu. You can go through, look at any of the menus on the app, which is super helpful. So these are some examples of what it looks like after you have your reservation. Make sure you get to this page. I've heard some people not confirm, and then they don't have the reservation. But basically, you'll have your reservation, you're good to go, and then that night, you'll go up to the door, and they will ask you what your room number is. You give them your room number. They'll check on their little iPad and be like, okay, you're good to go. So you don't even need to bring your app, show any of that. Uh, just make sure you know your room number and you'll be good to go at your reservation time. And make sure you get there early because, I mean, we got there about 30 minutes to 20 minutes ahead and would get pretty good seats. Uh, but I would suggest don't get there any later than that. Another helpful thing is to look at the shops. So I broke my sunglasses on this ship. And so it's helpful to go through and look at the times that the different shops are open because they're not always open, say when we're in port, they're gonna be closed. So I would scroll through and look at what the different shops have. So we went to the Surf Shack to get some different sunglasses. Uh, and so you can see on that day, that was the time that it was open. So we were able to make sure that it was open before we made the trek down to that area. And here's another place that you can look up activities and events. Uh, these are all just the different venues and they can just tell you what's happening there and the different activities. And again, there are times that they're open. And I just find that's really helpful before you're ready to go on Flow Rider and you get there and it's not open because that would happen. So you can see here the different times, and you can also look at the different times throughout your cruise. So say, hey, I'm not ready to do that zip line quite yet. You can look to see when it's gonna be open next. And I just found that really helpful for planning of our days and, and the different events we wanted to do. Another area of the app that was super helpful was the spa section. You can see the different venues, also the different events that they were doing. They did a lot of health events. You can also look at their treatments, but you can't book it on the app. You have to go to the spa itself to book. 
Another area is the excursions tab and you can look through and look at all the different excursions. You can see like any excursions during cruising, during the different port days. As you can see, I'm going to click on uh, Coco Cay and look at some of the different activities that you can do. And you can book it on this app. You can click on it and then be able to book it right on there. I was I didn't do that myself. I did it beforehand. Again, I'm a planner. Uh, but in case you're like, you know what, I really do want to do kayaking or snorkeling when I'm at Coco Cay, you can go on here just like this. Um, unfortunately, they were sold out, but you can definitely see the prices on there, which was helpful to see, especially if it was kind of a last minute thing. Uh, but you can click on the different activities. Here's the up, up and away balloon ride. I use it mainly to kind of look at the prices, especially if we were kind of going back and forth of, Oh, I kind of wanted to do that, but oh yeah, did not, could not afford that. But that was really helpful. All right, and then we're going to go back out to the, this main area, and then going to click on deck maps. And this was also super helpful to find restrooms, to also remind myself, oh, is the main dining room in the back or the front of the ship? And so that was just something else that was really helpful, especially on our cruise. I did look at it beforehand because I do like to plan again, but this was helpful for me to kind of get the layout of the land, see where things are, and I I think I use this the most and the daily planner the most when I was on the cruise ship. I don't like using my phone, but this was helpful, I will say, uh, to be able to have this at your fingertips and figure out where that store is that I wanted to go to or what level the pool's at. Um, by day six, we knew where everything was, but in the first few days, it was helpful. It's a big ship, and uh, unfortunately, yeah, like she said, by day six, you know where everything is, and then you have one more night. So you just kind of, you know, take your time and have fun and enjoy it, and don't try and memorize the whole ship, <laughs> because you have it in your hand. Yeah, and at the bottom, you can see there's the different decks, and all you got to do is slide left or slide right to go up and down the decks, and just click on them, and it'll show you the way, which is pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna swipe right to this main page in the middle. At the bottom, you can see the different pictures down there, and they're all different things. But I want to bring your attention to the safety. So you can actually go through this and read through it. You look at the life jacket, the emergency horn. This is what we're doing instead of the mustard drill where you had to stand outside and wait. It's actually really, really easy to do. Uh, we did it before we got on the cruise ship, but then once we were on the cruise ship, we had to go find our mustard drill station. Make sure you find that right away or else you can't leave. So make sure you do that right, right away. Um, and basically just show them that you did it and you're good to go. All right, now I'm going to swipe right again. And this is kind of like your main info page. You can see where your muster area is. You can click actually on your safety thing and it'll show you where it is on the deck itself. It'll show us where our stateroom is. It shows us our upcoming events. So we're able to keep track of all of that. So that was our event that night was the ice skate 2.0. We also, it showed us where our dining was, the time, our table. Uh, we were also able to keep track of our spending, which was helpful, but also not helpful. Well, it only had one person on the app. So it only it had did. the main person for the, or whoever was signed in on the app. But at least you weren't blinded by your expenses by the end of the vacation. That's true. <laughs> uh, you can also like click on your profile here. I use this just to kind of check things, make sure everything was good. Swiping back to the left now, and at the bottom you can see if the symbols again, and there is the health symbol. That's super important if you're not feeling well. You can hit that and you can see where you need to go to be able to get some help. And also you can have your boarding pass on here. It says boarding pass right there, and super quick, easy to um, show that to them when you're boarding. I actually just added it to my Apple wallet, and that was the easiest thing that I could do. But yeah, that is pretty much so the app. Uh... It was helpful. We did use it. I do miss my paper planners, but it's fine. I mean, I can adapt. Uh, but it was helpful to use this to be able to see everything, and I hope that it was helpful for you to see how to make different reservations. I apologize that I wasn't actually able to do step-by-step, step, but like I said, the dining reservations, it's the exact same way to make reservations for the shows. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the, the app, I mean, like, like she said, we, we were just really not phone people on vacation, so it was a little bit hard for us to accept, um, but we did it, and, you know, it worked out. It was actually pretty nice. So, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. We uh, really appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video to keep the YouTube algorithm happy, 
And uh, we just thank you guys so much for the support. We will see you guys. See on you the next later. One.